welcome to Divine Savior Academy's 8th Annual Academic Awards Ceremony. This year's ceremony will be just like those in years past, only different. What's the same is that my name is Tom Welch, and as Divine Savior Academy's Co-Director of College Counseling, it's my privilege to lead in acknowledging DSA's many award recipients. What's different is the vast number of changes that have come to us during this storm known as COVID-19. Each of us is in our own individual boat, if you will, but we're striving together in this storm to cross safely through to the other side. But in Christ, God already conquered the raging storm of sin and gives us his peace through simple saving faith in Jesus as Savior. As we continue to endure the storms this side of heaven, let us always remember who it is who brings us safely through to the other side. So in that peace and in that joy, let us now celebrate the earthly blessings God pours out graciously to our students, their families, and indeed the entire body of Christ. Students being recognized have earned a variety of awards. These include academic awards, community awards on the local, state, and national levels, and DSA-specific awards. We'll begin by presenting academic awards. And to do that, I introduce to you our academic dean, Mr. Scott Sievert. Thank you, Mr. Welch. My name is Mr. Sievert, and I serve as the academic dean here at Divine Savior Academy. It is my privilege to recognize those juniors and seniors who have shown academic excellence in the classroom by earning a GPA of 3.25 or higher. Juniors who earn this award will receive an academic letter and pin, while the seniors earning this award will receive an academic medal. We begin with the juniors who earned a 3.25 to 3.49. Kareem Abutari, Juan Arango, Enrique Barriet, Valentina Castro, Santiago Duque, Gabriel Fernandez, Eduardo Figuera, Daniel Garces, Sergio Massaro, George Nieves, Mauro Parente, Jose Williams. Earning a 3.50 to 3.74 for the juniors. Alejandro Barriga, Ryan Butros, Daniel Coronado, Jihi Lee, Summer Lee, Samantha Morales, Juan Murillo, Tain Nam, Danielle Aspina, Jose Padron, Valeria Rivero, Maria Taglieri. And earning a 3.75 and above, Sophia Acon, Alan Benarek, Roque Sedano, Mariana Dos Santos, Andres Gonzalez, Gabriel Gonzalez, Nicolas Jimenez, Christopher Lopez, Molly Myhak, Juan Morales, Elba Mota, Sebastian Padilla, Bruno Parpinelli, Sergio Rivera, Christina Rodriguez, and Autumn Schultz. Congratulations to those juniors who have earned an academic award. We now turn to the seniors who have earned a 3.25 or higher, beginning with those earning honors. Katerina Balsham, Maria Carolina Broseno, Paulina Campos, Diego Curbelo, Cesar Fanol, Pedro Flores, Javier Garcia, Diana Gonzalez, Daniela Hurtado, Donatella Giacomi, Catalina Leal, David Lelevre, Adriana Yano, JJ Quiros, Gino Rakena, Mila Savinovich, Ricardo Segovia, and Gabriel Vasquez. Those students earning 3.5 to 3.75 Nora Burgos Heredia, George Canelo, Fabiana Castro, Ronaldo Demori, Vigo Demaica, 
Justin Garay, Carla Gofredo, Valentina Guillen, Santiago Martinez, Galia Revere, Ricardo Rodriguez, Thomas Rosales, Dominic Turinetti, and Jose Yepes. And those earning the highest honors with a GPA of 3.75 or higher, Valentina Acon, Diego Inez, Michelle Beebe, Jaden Bradshaw, Ashley Cabeza, Virginia Churio, Isabella Dominguez, Gianmarco Fulci, Lucas Filiastes, Irene Gamuccio, Oswaldo Gutierrez, Catherine Kaufman, Jackson Landweir, Ashley Maharaj, Tomas Mancuso, Jose Mejia, Anna Morante. Thank you students for using your God-given talents to their fullest in the classroom and pursuing academic excellence. I would like to say to the seniors that my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry we're not able to do this in person. I miss seeing you and I wish you God's blessings. Hello, my name is Andrea Rodriguez and I am the Fine Arts Teacher at Divine Savior Academy, presenting the Emerging Artist Award to the outstanding students who create artwork with a personal and contemporary approach. I'd like to honor the following recipients, Sofia Lores, Cristina Rodriguez, and Virginia Trujillo. Congratulations. And now presenting the Artistic Excellence Award. This award honors the student who shows consistency, stamina, and determination in the pursuit of creative expression. And I'd like to honor Ricardo Rodriguez. Congratulations. And well done, my artists. Hello, my name is Kara Scharf, and I'm the Fine Arts Department Chair at Divine Savior Academy. Today, I would like to present two awards on behalf of the music program. The first award is the Rising Star Award, and this goes to two juniors who have been involved in our music program for many years in a variety of ways. They have shown growth throughout the year as individual musicians, as well as great dedication to our program as a whole. I believe they will continue to rise as leaders, not only in our program, but also in the music community at large. This year's Rising Stars are Molly Myhock and Daniel Garces. Congratulations, Molly and Daniel, and thank you for your hard work and dedication. I would also like to present the Divine Savior Academy Music Award to a senior who has been involved in music throughout his years here. He has performed as a soloist as well as in small groups and large ensembles. He has been in our recitals, concerts, chapel services, open mic nights, and many other events. He has represented our choir two years at choral festivals and served as a section leader for two years. This year's Music Award goes to senior Tomas Rosales Thank you, Tomas, for your years that you have given to the music program and for your passion that you have shown. I pray that music will continue to be a part of your life as you continue into the next chapter. God's blessings. Hi, this is Jeremy Dacret, business teacher and business club supervisor. I'm here to give the award for business achievement. This involves active participation, academic achievement, and success in projects and competitions. I'm giving the award this year to Gabrielle Vasquez. Gabby, thank you so much for your work. Thank you for everything you've done uh, throughout your years here at DSA. Thank you for helping me out in Business Club. It was uh, an incredible amount of help. I sincerely appreciate it. Blessings on everything in your future and after high school. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is John Ross, Department Chair of Mathematics. Each year our high school participates in a competition from Martin Luther College that challenges math students in their problem-solving skills. Each year, the students compete against each other in trying to rank themselves um, to be the best throughout the school uh, in two divisions, 9th and 10th grade and 11th and 12th grade. We like to recognize the, the top students in each category each year. And uh, this year, I'd like to recognize um, Simone Gillespie's um, grade 10 and Ashley Maharaj. Grade 12. 
Good evening, my name is Kyle Fax. I teach high school English here at Divine Savior Academy, and I am also the English department chair. One of the awards we have here at Divine Savior Academy is the Word Write Challenge Award. Um, this is a literature, informational text, analysis um, exam that we give to freshmen through seniors here at the high school once a quarter. Um, and every year between the freshmen and the sophomores and then the juniors and the seniors, there's a blue division award awarded for the freshmen and sophomores and a gold division award um, awarded to the juniors and seniors given to the highest cumulative score in both divisions. So this year, based off the first three quarters, because we did not have our fourth quarter meet, unfortunately, the blue division champion uh, for the Word Right Challenge Award is Valeria Alvarado, and the Gold Division Challenge Award, and also one of the highest scoring uh, Word Right Challenge students in the entire country, um, Gold Division Award winner is Junior Molly Myhock. Good evening, parents and students. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Anna Kalyanova, and I'm the Divine Savior Academy's high school Latin and French teacher. I'm very excited to be presenting the awards for this year Latin and French recipients. These awards are given to students who have met and exceeded the expectations of this language department. These awards are not easy to achieve. It requires students, most of whom are already bilingual, to take an additional language and the responsibility that comes along with that. As one of my favorite American poets wrote, two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. Much like Robert Frost talks about in his famous poem, these students have chosen a more difficult path to follow, which will bring them and lead them to success. And to these students, I congratulate you on your hard work and determination, regardless of how difficult the path is. This year's recipients are Dante Ledesma, Latin II, Academic Excellence, Saskia Habibe, Latin II, Continued Interest and Enthusiasm, Sophia Nassif, French one, academic excellence. Valeria Alvarado, French one, continued interest and enthusiasm. Jesus Bermudez Gomez, French two, academic excellence. Alexandra Umpierre, French two, continued interest and enthusiasm. Alba Mota, French three, academic excellence. Diego Curbelo, French 4, continued interest and enthusiasm. Congratulations again. I'm extremely proud of you. Hola, I'm Mrs. Mar and I teach high school Spanish 1. This year's academic excellence recipients for high school Spanish 1 are Carola Rodriguez and Kevin Martin. Felicidades! Greetings to all. I am Emily Madero and I teach high school Spanish too. Today, it is my privilege to announce the winners of the Spanish II Academic Excellence Award and the Spanish II Continued Interest and Enthusiasm Award. The Spanish II Excellence Award recognizes the outstanding academic achievement in the Spanish language and cultural studies. This year, the recipient is Maria Sicala. On the other hand, the Spanish to Continued Interest and Enthusiasm Award recognizes the consistent commitment and exceptional enthusiasm for the Spanish language and culture. This year, the recipient is Hannah Mayhack. Congratulations to both.
Hello everybody, these awards are for three students that always give maximum effort in everything that they do and come every day to class with a positive attitude and the desire to learn. They are Autumn Scholl, Molly Myhawk, and Skylar Troji. Congratulations! Greetings to you all. My name is Kurt Happy. I am the Science Department Chair here at Divine Savior Academy. It is my privilege to announce the winner of this year's Science Award. The Science Award is given to the senior who has demonstrated academic excellence all four years while at Divine Savior Academy, as well as pursuing a degree in the science field after high school. This year's award winner is Ashley Maharaj. Ashley, thank you so much for your contributions to our science program after these many years, and we wish you and all of the class of 2020 God's greatest blessings. Thank you all. The other award that I would like to present tonight is the Quill and Scroll Award. Now this award is given to um, a student in our, the high school's journalism class who has um, both a B average or higher in the class throughout the year, as well as that they're in the top uh, third of their graduating class. Um, so I, I chose one senior this year to win the Quill and Scroll Award uh, for the Golden Legacy. And this student not only demonstrates superior writing capabilities, but really uh, takes the production of an entire magazine on her back, which is not an easy thing to do whether that's organizing um, the visuals of the Golden Legacy magazine or um, editing photography, uh, managing people to get their articles done on time and edited and peer reviewed on time. Um, and the winner of the Quill and Scroll Award this year, they're inducted into the Quill and Scroll Society, is senior Isabella Dominguez. Congratulations, Isa. As DSA's AP exam coordinator, I'd like now to recognize student performance during last May's testing. The College Board provides these exams, which are designed to measure how well a student has mastered the content and skills of a particular AP course. A passing score is 3, with the highest score being a 5. DSA students generally do very well on these exams. For example, 114 of the 150 or so exams taken resulted in a score of 3 or higher. Only if you have insomnia does it make sense for me to read all these names. Instead, here you can see which students performed well on the AP exams for Calculus BC, Chemistry, Computer Science Principles, English Language, Psychology, and AP Seminar. And on your screen now are those who performed well on the Spanish language and world history exams. Congratulations to all of these students. Yet, some DSA students have set themselves apart for special recognition as AP scholars. They did so by earning scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. The performance of two particular DSA students was recognized at an even higher level. These two students have earned the status of AP Scholar with Honors. A special congratulations to Mariana Dos Santos and Lucas Gil Estes. And finally, the DSA class of 2020 also has the privilege of having among its members an AP Scholar with Distinction. For an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken, and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Congratulations to DSA's AP Scholar with Distinction, Isabella Dominguez. If we were gathered together like most years, you would hear this. Even though everyone's having such a good time, I'm going to give the microphone back to Dr. Troji. Hi, Dr. Troji here and I am here to present the PSAT NMSQT award to two students who scored a selection index of 200 or more on the PSAT in October but do not advance to the National Merit Scholar competition. With a score of 200, 
Christina Rodriguez. And with a score of 209, Molly Myha. Dr. Troji here, and to announce our Independent Schools of South Florida Student Award. The ISSF star student is one who is an exemplary student. He or she should be a student who sets an example for others to follow, whether in the home, school, or the community. The students should have excelled in one or more of these areas, academics, community service, citizenship, fine arts, athletics, student activities, perseverance, effort, dedication, commitment to positive goals, improvement in performance and attitude. And as voted on by the high school faculty, I proudly announce Michelle Beebe. Hi everyone, this is Ms. Montesano, the high school counselor, and today I have the honor to present the President's Volunteer Service Award. This award is very special. This award honors individuals whose service positively impacts communities, and through their leadership, they inspire those around them to take action. The President's Volunteer Service Award honors those volunteers who are using their times and talents to solve some of the toughest challenges facing our nations today, which goes beyond race, gender, and economic status. These students were a part of the DSA Ambassador Guild, and I had the honor to work with them through many community volunteering opportunities. Their hard work and dedication was delightful to see and work with. With that being said, I want to congratulate Samer Baraj, Mariana Dos Santos, Elba Mota, Nicholas Jimenez, Samantha Morales, Jose Padron, and Simon Sierra. Once again, congratulations. Hi, I'm Sarah Jimenez, co-director of College Counseling, and I'm here to introduce two guest presenters from the Marines who are here to recognize one of our seniors with a very special award. Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant O'Reilly. And I am Staff Sergeant Albert. And we are the Marine Corps representatives for the City of Doral and Divine Savior Academy. It is truly an honor to be here today to recognize excellence and the achievement for the class of 2020. For over two centuries, the Marine Corps has maintained the highest of military virtues of honor, courage, and commitment. The individual recognized today has already displayed some of these Marine-like qualities. We would like to recognize a very special, courageous individual who has proven that he deserves to be amongst the elite. He has sworn to protect and preserve this land, and most importantly, stand up for what is right. For his unwavering commitment, by way of the United States Marine Corps, he will have the opportunity to study at any college of his choice in any field he feels he would make the biggest impact in. He will also be afforded the opportunity to, tra to traverse this land and gain vital experience. This individual has heard the nation's call and he has answered. This individual is Juan Quitos. He is the Marine Corps option NROTC scholarship recipient. He has been awarded up to $180,000 to attend the school of his choice while being on track to be a leader of Marines as a Marine Corps officer. Once again, congratulations, Juan. Well deserved, Juan. Hey, congratulations to the class of 2020. We would like to thank Divine Savior Academy for inviting the Marines. Best wishes and success in your future. Thank you and Semper Fidelis. Hello, my name is Perry Lund and I am this year's advisor with the National Honor Society. The purpose of our organization is based on four pillars, to create an enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate the desire to render service to those around us, to develop character, and to promote positive leadership. These seniors have demonstrated through their actions and examples in the last four years that they are worthy to receive the honor soul of the NHS. Seniors, I pray you are reminded of these four pillars of your years here, that Christ has built them in you and will continue to use you and your gifts. The seniors receiving the NHS stole for this year are Valentina Akon, Michelle Beebe, Ashley Cabeza, Isabella Dominguez, Katie Kaufman, Jackson Landwehr, Anna Morante, 
Irene Gamusho, Virginia Shero, and Ashley Maharaj. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Brian Kasten. I am the Athletic Director at Divine Savior Academy, and I have the privilege to present to you the 2020 Senior Athlete Award. The Senior Athlete Award is presented to one male and one female student athlete that has used their God-given talents and abilities to be key participants in multiple sports throughout their high school career, or to one who has demonstrated exceptional ability in one sport for multiple years. These student athletes represent their savior, their school, and themselves in a positive way through great sportsmanship, effort, and in class on a regular basis. This senior class has been blessed with a tremendous amount of God-given talent and ability. They were well on their way to being the only class to lead DSA to a regional berth in every single team sport, something that has not been accomplished in DSA history. They were also a class to bring home 24 state trophies, 10 district runner-ups, 10 district champions, one regional runner-up, two regional champions, and one state champion. The winners of the Senior Athlete Award will have their names engraved on a plaque to commemorate their accomplishment. The plaque is on display throughout the year in the trophy case located in the high school commons. The winners of the 2020 Senior Athlete Award are Fabiana Castro and Jose Mejia. Congratulations to both of you. God's blessings to all of you. We look forward to hopefully seeing you in the near future. Hello, I'm Sarah Jimenez and I am co-director of College Counseling and I will be recognizing our seniors who qualified to receive the Florida Bright Futures Scholarships. In order to receive these scholarships, our students had to meet certain requirements in the area of GPA, community service hours, and test scores. There were three levels to the scholarship given by the state of Florida, and we have students in each of the three levels. The highest level is the Florida Academic Scholarship, and the recipients of this scholarship are Michelle Beebe, Ashley Cabeza, Vigo Domica, Isabella Dominguez, Gianmarco Fulci, Oswaldo Gutierrez, Jackson Lanwer, and Ashley Maharaj. Great job, guys. Congratulations. Next, we have the Florida Medallion Scholarship, and those recipients are Eric Alarcón, George Canelo, Virginia Churrio, Irene Gumusio, Catherine Kaufman, Tomas Vancuso, Jose Mejia, Ana Morante, and Tomas Rosales. Congratulations. Finally, we have the Gold Seal Vocational Scholar, and that scholarship goes to Faith Aguila. Again, congratulations to all our seniors and their parents. Hello, my name is Jason Schultz. It is my privilege to present this year's awards for the Student Impact Award for Leadership and the Faith in Action Award. Both of these awards are given only to seniors and are nominated and voted on by the Divine Savior Academy faculty. The first award, the Student Impact Award for Leadership, focuses on and recognizes a student who truly has exhibited a love for Divine Savior Academy, both in the way that he or she conducts himself in the classroom and outside of it. This student encourages other people, whether it is students or parents, whether it is faculty or guests, to also enjoy the Divine Savior family and culture. This year's award recipient goes to Diego Curbelo. Congratulations, Diego. The second award, the Faith in Action Award, is a student who demonstrates the love of Christ in his or her time at Divine Savior Academy. It is based off of Luke chapter 10, the idea of the Good Samaritan. Truly, it is somebody who goes above and beyond his or her normal responsibilities. It is a student who shows compassion, kindness, and service to all people, regardless of what grade they may be in or who their status in the school is. This year's award recipient goes to Michelle Beebe. Congratulations, Michelle. God's blessings to you both.
At Divine Savior Academy, the class speaker is chosen in a collective effort between the students and the faculty. The high school seniors nominate their fellow classmates, and then the faculty votes on those nominations. And so this year, in the class of 2020, I proudly pronounce Diego Curbelo. All right, and so we bring this award ceremony to a close by proudly pronouncing our valedictorian and our salutatorian. I have known these two ladies for 13 years, ever since they started in kindergarten, and they have been fighting academically ever since. And so I am proud to announce our salutatorian, Ashley Maharaj. and our valedictorian, Isabella Dominguez. Congratulations, ladies. And now I would like to bring uh, Mr. Welch, our college counselor, back up to close out this award ceremony. And I would like to say at this time, thank you to Mr. Welch for his eight dedicated years at Divine Savior Academy. Mr. Welch, if you didn't know at this point, is going to be moving back up to Wisconsin with his wife to uh, take on the college counseling position at Winnebago Lutheran Academy. And so thank you, Mr. Welch, for your time and your service and dedication to Divine Savior Academy for getting this award ceremony set up and organized and run from here and moving forward. So, Mr. Welch, the floor is yours. Hello again, just a few comments to close. Seniors, as you continue to receive scholarships and grants, please inform Mrs. Jimenez so that our final record is accurate. But to date, the total dollar amount in the form of grants, scholarships, and financial awards given to the DSA class of 2020 is... Surely that total will continue to rise as more awards are received. I want to thank Gladys Mata for helping organize awards. And Mr. Babbler for producing this presentation. I also want to thank Mrs. Jimenez for her work with the seniors this year. Here as well as all of our presenters for helping to recognize these deserving students. And most importantly, I want to congratulate you students for your faithful work, previously and still now, during this time of interruption and disappointment. And finally, on a personal note, I want to thank Divine Savior Academy's students and parents, both present and past, and you, my colleagues, faculty and staff, for the privilege of serving alongside you these past eight years. As I now transition to a new ministry away from DSA, my wife Pam and I will always cherish God's blessings to us here. A heartfelt thank you to you all. Let us now close our awards recognition in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God of grace, today we have acknowledged student achievements. We thank you first for these gifts that come from you and secondly for the joy that you give when we use them in your service. May we always recognize that every good and perfect gift comes from you. Lead us always to use blessings and appreciation for your grace and ultimately for bringing us safely to the other side to be with you forever in your heavenly presence. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Congratulations students and especially to you seniors, the DSA class of 2020. God's richest blessings to you, seniors, and to all in the family of DSA.